Hey guys, I'm back with another question and today we're going to be finding what the solution to this equation is. Cos of z is equal to 2. So as you might have assumed, we're again going to be using complex numbers here and the Euler's formula. So if you haven't checked my latest video out, go and see it because I'm going to be using the stuff I proved in that video here. So let me go ahead and write down what e to the power ix is. It is cos of x plus i times sine of x. So now using this, if we plug in minus x instead of x, we'll have e to the power minus ix is equal to cos of minus x plus i times sine of minus x. Because cos is an even function, cos of minus x is the same as cos of x. But sine is an odd function, so we're going to take this minus outside and get e to the power minus ix is equal to cos x minus i times sine of x. So now if we add these two equations together, we'll have e to the power minus ix plus e to the power ix is equal to 2 cos x because these are exactly the same and they get cut out. Okay, now moving on, we have from the last equation, cos x is equal to e to the power ix plus e to the power minus ix upon 2. But since we're looking at complex numbers, let's replace this with z. We have cos of z is equal to e to the power minus z plus e to the power minus i times z. I may have said minus z here and I apologize for that. I meant c upon 2. And we know that this is equal to 2 because that's what we're here to find. So now just looking at this equation, we have e to the power iz plus e to the power minus iz is equal to 4. Let's move on. So now if we multiply both sides with e to the power iz, we'll get e to the power iz times e to the power iz plus e to the power minus iz is equal to 4 times e to the power iz. Now I've multiplied e to the power iz so that these two uh, cancel out because we'll be left with e to the power iz minus iz and that just becomes e to the power 0 which is 1. So we'll end up with a quadratic equation. We'll have e to the power iz whole square plus 1 is equal to 4 times e to the power iz. Now let's take e to the power iz as y. We have y squared minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 0. Solving this equation, we'll have to use the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus minus root b squared minus 4ac upon 2. So here we have minus b is equal to 4, a is equal to 1, c is equal to 1, and b is equal to minus 4. So now plugging that in, in the equation, we'll have minus of minus 4 plus minus minus 4 whole square minus 4 times 1 times 1 upon 2. So from this we get 4 plus minus root 12 upon 2. Now we can write root 12 as 2 root 3. So we have 4 plus minus 2 root 3 upon 2. Now we can cut out 4 by 2 and 2 by 2 here. So we'll basically be left with 2 plus minus root 3. And now this is our value for e to the power i z which is y. But we still have to solve for z. So I'm going to take this further. So we're going to take the natural log of this equation on both sides. And we'll be left with i times z is equal to the natural log of 2 plus minus root 3. Now if we divide both sides by i, we have z is equal to the natural log of 2 plus minus root 3 upon i. Now because we want i in the numerator, we'll just multiply the numerator and denominator by i. Here it becomes i square which is minus 1. So we'll have z is equal to minus i times the natural log of 2 plus minus root 3. And there we have our answer for cos z is equal to 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends, like, comment 
and most importantly, subscribe. If you see, if we take the natural log on both sides, we have i to the power, I mean i times z is equal to the natural log of 2 plus minus root 3. Now if we divide both sides by z, we have i is equal to the natural log of 2 plus minus 